Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. And today we're talking about some designer plants. All right, so the plant I want to talk about is this Echebecchia. Echebecchia, you say? What's an Echebecchia? Well, if you listen, it's got Rudbeckia and Echinacea combined. And it makes this wonderful little plant here. And we've got a couple of different varieties I'm going to show you. They basically like full sun. Uh, they will do well in zone 7 and higher. In colder zones, they'll be an annual. They might seed in. In other words, if you let the flowers uh, stay there, the seeds might fall and then it might produce a new plant the following year. But basically, this should be treated as an annual in the colder zones, but a perennial in the warmer zones. It's really different. Here are the two Echebecchias I want to talk about. This is Pumpernickel. Leave that up for you for a second. And you can see the color. Pretty nice. It's got that nice warm orange reddish tone. And the other one, simply called Summerina Orange. You can see here what that looks like. A little bit brighter, more of a two-toned, although this has two tones as well, but I think the two tones here stick out a little bit better. Remember, this is Rudbeckia, or Black-Eyed Susans, type, type of Black-Eyed Susans, combined with Echinacea. So you can kind of see, here's my Echinacea. Uh, what that looks like and you can get the idea that it's got some of it in there. So it's like a cockapoo of plants uh, and full sun uh, They're reportedly supposed to be hardy to zero degrees uh, Let me flip that over for you. You can see what what the tag says here So I have not hardiness seven to nine. I have not tested these over multiple years It's too new for me to have done that so I'm gonna give it a try, we'll see what it looks like. But definitely a nice annual, if nothing else. So there you have it, Echebecchia, a new plant for you. Warm colors, great for that late summer garden. And uh, I'm really interested to see how this does over the course of the next few years. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.